Hey, welcome to the Mentor Engineer. In this video, we are gonna be talking about piston pumps and to a lesser extent, motors. Okay, so piston pumps are pretty cool. So they're all gonna have some sort of this arrangement in there. And what's gonna happen is these pistons are gonna move around in a motion like this. And as you can imagine, the piston's gonna go up and down in the cavity and that is gonna provide fluid motion. Or in the case of a motor, we can turn fluid pressure into rotary motion. Okay, so let's look at how to do that. So my buddy, he loves to uh, take scrap stuff and melt it down and pour it into other things. Not for any real purpose, it's just fun for him to do, which I don't get. Uh, although I do a lot of things that he doesn't get. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this thing works. Uh, the first thing I want to point out right here is this is the input shaft and it is clear uh, sheared right off there, which means that it happened from torsional stress because that'll leave a nice flat break. After that, we can pull off the end here. So we can see here that we have a bearing. Uh, we've got a nice groove in here that we can put an O-ring so it provides sealing. And then we've got a bushing here uh, that we can't pull out easily. Probably have to get a screwdriver. Uh, and that surface gives a nice uh, surface for things to run on. All right, the next piece here, this is the, the shaft end of it. Uh, but we have what we call the swash plate. In a hydraulic pump, uh, sometimes these are variable uh, where it's, it's not fixed at an angle like this. This is obviously cast in, so you can't change that. Uh, and you can see here when I drop the shaft in there, it's gonna rotate around. Ooh, that bearing is actually very tight. Uh, and it's, it's rotating around and it allows this plate to sit on top. Now I'm actually missing a part here that holds the two together uh, so that they don't come off. But you can imagine that as this rolls around, this thing is going to stay in the same position and the angle is going to change. All right, so as I mentioned before, all the pieces are going to go up and down. So it'll go up and down. So like I said, in a hydraulic system, this could be variable. And the, the reason for that is I can adjust the flow out of a pump. So if I wanted the pump to just stand by and hold pressure, but no flow is moving, I can change the angle of this up to what I want, get that pressure, and then the, flatten it back out so I'm just maintaining that pressure. Uh, I might still have it at a small angle, so I'm, I'm pumping some fluid, uh, but theoretically I can pump nothing if it's flat. All right, moving on. Uh, the main housing here is just a piece of aluminum with uh, some board holes for all seven of those uh, pistons to ride up and down in. And uh, nothing, nothing terribly special going on here. I tried to get a couple of these back in here and man, it just, Oh, wow, that one actually went. Uh, they're not, you know, this, <laughs> you can see why the shaft bent because a lot of these are just really tight. There's one of them I couldn't move at all. Uh, there we go, this one. Oh, I did move it. Uh, but I've been soaking that in oil for a couple days. So the pistons will run up and down in those holes and as they're running up and down, they're, they're moving fluid. Uh, theoretically, if, if, if all things are equal, it's just pushing it up pulling it back in, pushing it up, pulling it back in. Well, we actually want to move the fluid. So that's where this next piece comes in. It's essentially a check valve. Now let's, before we get to this, let's look at this. Uh, so here we've got a suction line and it feeds this outer cavity and a pressure section, which feeds this inner cavity. So as the piston is pulling down, we want to be pulling fluid in from the suction area and squirting it out in the pressure area. So that's where this plate comes in. It's essentially 14 check valves. So you'll have two check valves for each piston. Uh, one will uh, open it up in the suction valve. So when uh, right here, fluid will come in this hole past this little plate right here, and that'll get sucked into the piston cavity. So when the piston starts coming back up, we're gonna see it eject here. There's another check valve here you see that little plate right there uh, where it'll push up and then when it starts pulling in it'll seal back off so that's how these simple uh, very 
very, very, very thin, uh, almost shim stock, probably shim stock uh, pieces act as two check valves. And you can just see how much dirt and grime is in here. Uh, this pump had a very long life. Uh, so that's basically how it works. So while the concept is the same, there are a lot of differences between an air conditioner compressor like this one and a hydraulic pump or motor. So this one, the swash plate uh, will rotate. This does not rotate. So this part right here is, is firmly mounted and it does not rotate so that these all have to stay in the same line. However, in a hydraulic system, all of these will rotate together as such. All right, and the swash plate will be what stays steady. And that way we can angle it to deal with uh, things like load sense and pressure compensation. All right, it also simplifies our top end cap here where we have two distinct sections, and we'll still have two distinct sections, uh, but they're divided in half. So, you know, this half will be uh, high pressure and then the other cavity will be on the low pressure side. Fluid goes in one side, high pressure, comes out on the other side, low pressure, and you won't have the need of this device. So I was glad I got the opportunity to uh, save this from the scrap yard until now. Well, uh, I'll take it over to my buddy, Mike. He will uh, go ahead and melt this down and hopefully make something cool. Hey, well, thanks for watching The Mentored Engineer. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing uh, my new merch here. Uh, Math You Can Ride, I love this shirt. So please take a second to scroll down below and get yourself a nerdy shirt that you can wear out and impress your friends. They won't be impressed. Uh, but get it anyway, show how cool you are. Hey, uh, if you like this video, please take a second to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.